Well, it's been almost four decades since the NBA All-Star Game was right here in Indianapolis. But now the celebration is underway. Tip-off for the big game just three days away. But events are taking place across the city. And we have you covered from Gamebridge Fieldhouse to Lucas Oil Stadium to the Indiana Convention Center. Our team located at all three locations for you tonight. We start with Dakari Turner, who is anchoring our coverage from the Bicentennial Plaza just outside of Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Dakari, good to see you, sir. Yeah, good evening to you. It is really good to be here. There's a lot going on, a lot of activity. Uh, the buzz, you can feel that in the air as we get down here, but we'll get to that. But we have right now uh, Pacer Sports and Entertainment Vice President of External Affairs, Danny Lopez, joining us. Uh, Danny, you and I were just talking uh, a short time ago. There's, there's a lot to do down here. There's so much going on, whether or not you're a basketball fan. We want you to come downtown and experience it. You know, all, NBA All-Star is unique in that it's the intersection of fashion and culture and the arts uh, and then sports. And so, you know, we have a lot of folks that are going to come down for our basketball events. But there's more than 100 art installations around downtown. Uh, we're calling it Indy's home court. But all around the downtown, there's all kinds of things that you can experience. A lot of them are free. You can go to Pacers.com slash playbook, and you can create your own customized playbook for the weekend. So come on out and, and have a great time. This is a, sort of a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Now, when we were making our way down here, uh, street closures, all kinds of traffic, but you were saying that shouldn't be a, de uh, a detriment for people coming down. No, you know, as you get closer to the venues, you're going to have some congestion, and tomorrow and Saturday, there's events at Lucas Oil Stadium, so you can anticipate something like a, a Colts game, a Colts Sunday, okay. but generally speaking, you know, it's going to be easy to get around downtown, and we want to encourage people to come downtown. Look, you can go to Pacers.com slash all-star info. All of the know-before-you-go information is on there. I would just say plan ahead, plan your trip, know where you're going to park. You can take Indigo. It's free all weekend, or you can have a ride share and take an Uber down here. Plenty of places where you can you can Uber to. Easy way to get around, and um, I wasn't here, but you made me aware that uh, Larry Legend, Larry Bird, uh, in, in you making this bid uh, for the all-star game to come to Indianapolis, yeah. he made a pretty big show of it. This event is is what eight seven years, years in the making seven years so we're about to tip this thing off this is going to be a spectacular opening ceremonies there's going to be so much stuff a national act local music acts fireworks all kinds of stuff it's going to be a great show and it's a great way to tip off the weekend okay um for the people out there watching is there anything else they should know about no come on downtown on? enjoy it we don't know when we'll get all-star again so come down this is unlike anything that you've experienced come on downtown okay all right we appreciate uh, your time here um and i'm sure there will be a lot uh, uh, that we'll be in contact about as the weekend Absolutely. continues. It'll be good. Um, and we turn now to uh, our coverage. Our Amisha Ramsey is over at Lucas Oil Stadium. She is helping with people who are over there packing food bags for people. Uh -huh. Amisha, uh -huh. you've been over there for some time. I'm sure there's a lot going on. What are you seeing? Yeah. Hey, Nakari. Yeah, we've been here for uh, a little bit a while, but I mean, we are at one of the most incredible events that's happening here. Uh, it is the Million Mill Movement, 24 hours of service. You can see these family and friends and volunteers having a good time. The music is playing. Uh, we've been talking a lot about the energy, the energy that is happening. This kicked off around 4 o'clock today, but these folks, different rounds of groups of people will be coming in through Lucas Oil Stadium, just giving their time and packing for a really good cause. I want to bring in just, a, we have a familiar face, but I want to introduce you to a person that you guys probably don't know. His name is Eric Demaselli. He is with the NBA, and we've been talking a lot about energy, which we've seen a lot. Eric, tell me a little bit about that energy that you're feeling, especially from the volunteers. It's been tremendous. Uh, we're here and really packing these meals with Million Meals with Indiana Pacers, and the energy from the kids yes. and the families helping others and all throughout the state. We're super excited. I, yeah. I'm getting excited. No, yeah, we are really excited. A lot of people have been dancing. A lot of people have been time but I want to bring in Nancy Hintz because not only have the volunteers just been local people here but there was some celebrity sightings there from people working out tell me a little bit about that Nancy uh, we do have some celebrities uh -huh. here from the NBA so we have Meta World Peace is here we have so many that are here today and so we also had Marcus Tatum and then Rick Fusion is here so we are excited to have these celebrities and it means so much to us and so what it shows is that this is a cause that they can get behind and they're just paving the way for others to help with Millie Meal Movement and pack these meals. Absolutely. And Nancy, for those who are unfamiliar with the process and how this goes, we're talking a lot about food insecurity, especially here in Marion County. I mentioned you tell us that one out of four families are food insecure. Families 
are hungry. This food is going to be going to serve those people specifically. Can you tell me more about that? Right. So we were working with the food banks, and so all 92 counties will be receiving the food, but there is such a need, one in eight throughout the entire state, there is such a need that these meals will be gone and into homes and being used in homes in a matter of four weeks. It will all be eaten. And some of the food that is packed up, we see a little bit, maybe a rice. What is that combination? And these these meals can be paired with different items on the, on the dinner table. Right. So we are packing four ingredients right now. We have rice. We have soy, which is the protein source. Mm -hmm. We have a vitamin mix. So all the vitamins and minerals are there. And that works really well for people who are food insecure because there generally is some sort of deficiency. Yeah. So we cover that. And then we have dried vegetables. And so these meals work for all ages so seniors and children seem to be the more susceptible when it comes to food insecurity and so these this meal will really work nicely for them awesome nancy hens thank you so much you guys this is where you want to be especially we know that the, the nba also we is about the stars but it's also about the people who care about their city and they are giving back but for now we'll send it back and be sure for wish tv wish tv.com follow us on facebook for more updates Amisha, so good to hear all that good news over there going on. We will certainly be sure to keep up with you. And if you out there at home, any of our viewers are not lucky enough to get tickets to any of the festivities, the Circle Center Mall has you covered. It is decked out with the new pop-up shops that are only going to be open this weekend. That is along with the new beer garden. So if you are wanting to get involved with this, come on down. Lots of events to keep you covered. Phil, we'll send it back to you in the studio. It's a great energy just in downtown overall and then to see uh, all this activation within the mall uh, really gets us back to our roots. That's not what they said. All right, so you just heard something about that there. Uh, live TV folks, we're figuring this out as we go. But again, that beer garden is going to be happening here. The Circle Center Mall has you covered if you're not lucky enough to get tickets. They also have dining options along with that beer garden. Phil, we're going to be out here all evening. Uh, we're told there's a special musical guest. I can't reveal the name just yet, but everything has gotten started. Started at the top of the hour at 6 o'clock. Gates are going to open for people to come in, those who have tickets, of course. Uh, those tickets were free, but we are told that they're sold out. The plaza here is going to be filled, especially for that musical guest. We, of course, will stay out here and have more interviews and coverage. Phil, back to you. Okay, looks like fun, Dakari. Thank you. As basketball takes covered on all road closures for All-Star Weekend, we've made it really easy for you to Find the map and the most up-to-date information. Just scan the QR code on your screen. That will take you to the As Seen On section of our website, wishtv.com. All right, so...